This is a tutorial to show you how to use the one of the most common calculators we have. It's the joist calculator. You go to the site on the top here, click calculators and joist span. Takes you to the joist calculator page. You can see the imagery here. This is based on a ledger connection or beam to wall or ledger connection. Select your, your species that you want to use and there's a lot to choose from. Uh, the beam configuration, we're going to stick with beam to wall. Um, 2 by 8 joist and let's say 16 inch center and you can calculate that without an overhang as in this case there we go no overhang or you could add an overhang and this then shows you what the uh, what the overhang would be it's a function of this maximum be uh, span distance so it's usually 25 percent or a quarter of that and the other nice thing you can do is you can you can print this if you want. So we'll just click print. Okay, and I'm going to put this in here so you can see it. And here's the print page. It's formatted for your printer for regular eight and a half by eleven inch paper, uh, and it, it it shows you exactly what you're working with here. It's, it's a very nice little function. So we'll go back. And another thing, it's kind of interesting to see how this works is if you increase the center, the spacing between joists, look what happens. Right now I've got 10 feet 9 inches. It's re been reduced to 10 feet 2 inches and also the overhang has been reduced. So what you're seeing is that as the joists are spaced further apart, they can span, a sh they, 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 they can only span a shorter distance. Uh, and the reverse is also true. If you place your joists closer together, like 16 inch or 12 inch centerings, then you can span a little bit different, uh, a little bit greater distance. And also, let's just play with this. Let's make this a 2 by 10. It, we've now, it can now span 13 feet 1 inches. Let's see what happens if it's a 2 by 12. 15 feet 5 inches. And the other thing you can do is you can play with the beam configuration. So beam to wall. Let's try a freestanding deck. Well, there, there you go. <clears throat> you can see that the total distance it's going to span is 15, 5, 3, 10, and 3, 10. So almost 8 feet, uh, almost 23, 24 feet if you could get, you know, 2 by 12 that long. Um, and here it is with uh, joist hangers. Same sort of thing. So this is a really uh, this is a really good little calculator, and uh, and um, you'll find this very useful when you're putting your plans together. So drop by anytime, ideasfordeckdesigns.com, and uh, any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. I read everything that you guys send, and I appreciate your comments very much.